astute viewers of you, um, my view, might remember back when I, uh, in my very first few videos, that I used an old camera in some of the shots. I still use the same camera I'm using now for the majority of them, but I thought it was cool. Like I would every once in a while I would show you know, just a shot using the, this old uh, thing. From, like this is, I believe this is from 1988. So I actually liked. I used this camera for a long time, uh, up until like probably like 2006 or something. It was it's a very good quality VHS cam recorder. But it has some issues and it's not quite working anymore. And that's well, I, I stopped using it for mostly because it's a pain in the ass trying to sync up the two different videos, timing them correctly. It's just you know it's way too much trouble versus the views you're gonna like a channel like this is gonna get. It's just too much shit to do. Oh, there, there have been times I like, I would have liked to have brought it back for a, you know, a couple of little things, but it's not working quite right. And I can still get it to work if I want to like hook it up to a fucking VCR or something. The thing is not playing correctly anymore. It won't, it won't play back a tape. It'll rewind and fast forward, but it won't. You, know, you can tell the thing. It won't. Like, it's, it's struggling. The belts or something, there's something wrong with it. It's struggling to move it slowly. It'll, it'll move it fast in the fast forward or rewinding motion, but it can't move it slow. It just gives up. And that's, that's a problem all fucking VCRs have when they get older. It's just there. It, it, it is amazing how complicated a fucking VCR is compared to anything before it or after. It's just the parts inside of a VCR are ridiculous. So even if I wanted to use it now, I can't really use it because it doesn't work. I've been like lubing it up. That's worked before if I like spray some crap into it and I've gotten gotten it to work for a little bit, but it doesn't seem to do it anymore. So I'm gonna hopefully fix it myself this time and uh, maybe get it working. Maybe include it in a couple videos again. I would like to. Anyway, we're gonna fix this RCA 1988 camcorder and uh, join me along the way in this very, very unnecessary surgery video. Here's the beast of the uh, camcorder here. Turn it on, probably. See, yes, it is indeed on. We can even uh, set it to camera mode and uh, Perhaps we can see something. I don't know if you guys can see it, but maybe you can see my hand in there. I don't know. <laughs> but this does work, uh, the camcorder, and it'll still zoom in and all that other junk. Problem comes from playback. Now we can eject it. Just listen to that sound. Isn't that so cool? It sounds like a fucking gold wing door on like a DeLorean. <laughs> Take an old VHS uh, tape and put it in. And now we press play up here. And you hear it just goes. And then it stops. So it, it can't even load it up. It's not spinning it at all. But I can press fast forward. Now I can even fast forward this time. <laughs> Look at all the problems this sucker has. Yesterday it was fast forward. Okay. You see it? Like, it kind of it took it up for maybe a half a step, and then it's like Egh. it's the same thing. If I put it into camera mode. In camera mode, it needs to take up the slack a little bit in order to record. But it's trying, and then it fails. But in camera mode, it's going to keep trying until, <laughs> until the end of time. But yes, that's that's basically what we have. It's not working. So, uh, let's take the bitch apart and uh, see if we can get it to work, shall we? Take out the battery pack. Um, the battery no longer works on this. It's it's similar in size to this. It's maybe a little less big, maybe that big compared. 
and you see it's a lot smaller of a unit without the battery thing. But uh, yes, yeah, so. they do still make batteries that I could buy, and they're rather cheap. So should I get it to work? Maybe I'll buy the battery again. I don't know. And they also have like a, a DC input too. It's not options for this thing. From the first look here, um, I do see some. I see a screw there. I see a screw over here. I don't think that one will have anything to do with this. One. There's a couple I can see, but I imagine there's a couple hiding as well. Let us start the uh, removal process. We'll start by getting rid of this thing. It's not needed at the moment. This screw here. Over here. I don't know if I'll need this one, but uh, yeah, what the fuck. Take them all off. This is the problem you have when you're not working with a service manual. I think I'm gonna play some Amiga Mod music for the background music in this one. These unnecessary surgery videos really should have some, a little bit of music, I think. I did some Nintendo music for the first one, I think, and got stricken down. The, the video, uh, it blanked it for part of it because I used the DuckTales song on the NES. Oh, God, I fucking hate that shit. Fuck, fuck you, Konami. Your bullshit fucking copyright bullshit. Fuck you. But, uh, the Amiga stuff is usually good. Nobody really cares about the Amigas. Uh, Konami's still trying to make fucking money off their goddamn NES game from 1988. Fuck you. might just be to hold this plate on. Well, I know. Yeah, that's But just to be sure, just take them all off. Oh god, that one's... That one must have... I tried, must have tried getting this one off before. It looks stripped. Oof, I don't know if I want to put that one back in. That's weird, but I don't think that's part of the thing we need to worry about anyway. Take it over here. We do have a screw on this side there, I see. Well, these screws are kind of worrying me. <sighs> the last thing you want to do is strip a screw on one of these fucking old electrons. Does this come out or what? I see something there. It might be all I know. There's two of them. Oh, look at that. Look what we have there. A little piece of rubber. Okay, so we can get this cover off, which will be very nice. Not have to deal with this fucking cover. I wanted to get this cover off for years. I never. <laughs> Just to more e easily lubricate the crap. I haven't have not figured out how to do it yet. There we go. I lost a screw down there somewhere. So yeah. Okay, now I got this off. Nice. Wanted to get this thing off for a long time, so I got that off. Put it on for a second so you guys can see the thing failing from the inside. So we press play. Yeah, no, no, it's not powered on. It does try. I can I can see some stuff moving in there. It does try to catch everything, but it won't do it. Playback, play. It just stops. It won't do it. It's cool. I've never seen it like this. Nice. I like it. No, nope, now it's fast forwarding. Didn't it fast forward before. Now it's fast forwarding. 
Rewind. Oh, this is a really slow one, too. Like, it's always been this slow. That's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Do this, and then we can press play. And again, it won't. It just won't play. It's too slow for it. It's not going fast enough. Eject. Let's keep on. Keep on keeping on. So all these... I believe most of these screws should be out, so this thing might come out now. We're lucky. It wants to come out. We're definitely missing something on the back there. We got a couple on the back. Again, like, oh, these screws, I don't like them. Oh, I'm very afraid for these screws. What are you holding up on? Right, here it comes, here it comes. Come on, come on. Here we go. Here's the big reveal. And we have circuit boards. It's possible this has been fucked with before. 727. It's got like a date on there. Possible somebody else messed with it at some point, repaired it. In remarkably good shape. These things came in a suitcase. <laughs> like a carrying suitcase. Like so. As long as they kept it in the suitcase. And I know somebody else with one of these too. It's like, yeah. As long as they kept it in the suitcase. These things age remarkably well. Besides these, uh, this one thing that I'm going to show you eventually. Um, so this is the circuit board, which is covering up the innards. How do we get it out? There's a clip there. Do we have any screws? I don't think there are any screws on it. I do see one screw there. I don't know if it has anything to do with this. I think it's just held up by these little clips here. One down there, that might be a problem. There are a couple plastic clips down here I was able to get off. So here, mostly, it would still be held in. Okay, so there's some wires on the side here. Maybe I can get those off. Okay, that's, okay. getting somewhere. There's a ground wire there. enough to work on it though. Perhaps. The capacitors are still looking good. This is when they made good quality shit. They didn't just fucking uh, throw bullshit Chinese capacitors in there that'll fail. So the problems as I understand it with these camcorders are these little these belts here. You see this? Here's one of them another one. Oh, look at that. Look how easily that just came off. I think that's the main one right there. That's the problem. We got a couple belts here. This is one of them. I think this is the main one. That one, I just touched it and it just came right off. So we got a belt there and we got a belt over here. And this is the problem. These rubber belts, and they're nothing really more than a rubber fucking band, but uh, these belts are the problem. Is that with time and age, rubber is just does not last. Rubber is a very poor material in terms of longev longevity. So we have to replace these, but it's not like you can just go to the fucking catalog online and uh, find the fucking uh, part number. No, <laughs> we have to uh, improvise our ourselves away. So let's see what we can do about this. Let's try to take one of them out. Small flat head here. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's start with this one here on the side. 
take this off. That one's pretty easy to get to. Can I take you out now? That one did not want to come out as easily as I would have hoped, but it did come out. Here we have the first culprit here. Rubber band. It's uh, been greased up recently because of all the shit I've been pouring into this thing. So that one goes there. Get some alcohol in here. Clean all this crap. Any of that grease I might have gotten in here. Now would be a good time to make sure this stuff is clean. Now since we can't go to a website or anything and get like the part number on this belt, we have to improvise and uh, what is this essentially this belt? It's essentially a fucking rubber band anyways. What you want to do is uh, go to a dollar store or a Staples or something. I got this one from Staples, I got this one from a dollar store. So yeah, basically Go get an assorted array of uh, rubber bands, and, uh, and basically that's what we're talking about. It's just it's a piece of rubber. They call it belt. The belt is the official name, but this is a rubber band. And nothing. It's nothing fancy. Dump them out and see if we can find one that looks similar. The uh, rubber band that we pulled out. Put that there. Well, let's keep it away from that. <laughs> Let's dump out some of these ones. It's gonna be a pain in the ass getting these back together, huh? Huh? Yeah. Let's see if we can find one that uh, roughly matches this one. Similar. And some super small ones, though. I don't think any of these are going to do it. This one's very, very, very close. Very close, this green one. I'll keep that one aside. Anyway, well, here's the uh, dollar store one. I'm going to be up. Oh, they're smaller. I see smaller ones already. God, what in the... Just a fucking thing. You buy something from Staples and fucking buy it for $5. And you buy something at a fucking dollar store for a dollar. And you get the better deal from the dollar store. Alright, I, I already see smaller ones. So this one's smaller. Let's see how much smaller. I think we're going to find what we're looking for here. Uh, possibly too small, but I'll set that one aside. There you go. Got it over one. Get it over the other one. Right, there we go, I finally got it. I actually switched belts. You can see that there. I found an even smaller one I wanted to use because the one that I put on there that was just slightly smaller, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel tight enough, so I went with an even smaller one. And I think this one will do just fine. Right, so let's move on to these two belts here, which I think I'm going to have to take this out in order to get to them. It's off and maybe just bend it a little bit. Oh, I'd rather do that. I think we can be able to do this. Okay, let's uh, take this one out. There's that one. Bent out of shape there. Might as well take this one out while we're at it. This, this one came right off, so it's most likely a definite problem. So, come on. There we go. Alright. Let's look at our pile. Well, let's clean it a little off bit too. Clean all these off. I think I found the ones that I want. These are both a little bit smaller. So if 
you know, remain tight on there while not being too tight as to cause strain on anything. belt's done let's uh let's see if it'll start up like this let's test this bitch out now there's the power button here there's the play button there it goes playback we have playback fast forward rewind Play, fast forward, rewind. Nice. Belts are moving fine. Pretty good. All right. This is awesome. Let's put it back together and see if it'll record anything. I, could, I guess I could try recording now. Record. It's recording. Pause recording. Record. Excellent. This is sweet. Just resurrected a fucking 1988 camcorder. I have now put it back together. We got our old belts here. I kept the, I kept the cover off just so you guys can see the tape. Right there. Inside, I put a old head cleaning uh, video. This is funny, I want to show you guys this. Put it in, press play. It plays. Uh, there's something I want to show you guys. <laughs> you can read this message, your recorder heads are clean. Thank you for shopping at Drug stores. <laughs> Hello, world. You are now seeing me through a old 1989 camcorder. How are you doing? How does it look? Seems look better on the outside. They never quite got the VHSs looking very good on the indoors. Not enough light, really. But hopefully, right here, it's enough light to uh, appreciate it. I still think they look pretty good on the outside. But I hope you enjoyed this very, very unnecessary surgery video <laughs> on repairing a 1988 camcorder. If you want to see more, you can always look at my uh, playlist for all these unnecessary surgery videos. I'm not sure if this is going to be the uh, last episode of unnecessary surgery for the first season or the first episode of the second season. Um, be something. You always check out my gaming reviews and playlists. If you want to see even older uh, stuff than this VHS, then check out my Super 8 playlist. Yeah. Super 8 real film. Take that. Had a lot of fun with this one. There's going to be another unnecessary surgery video coming up. Maybe if I ever put it back, if I ever edit it. <laughs> it's a failed unnecessary surgery video. If you go like that, it's not. Sometimes you fucking, sometimes it's usually the equipment, actually. Sometimes you fuck it up because, uh, well, you're dealing with old crap, and, uh, yes, for this, for this upcoming unnecessary surgery video, I failed pretty badly, and, and whatever, it broke. <laughs> that's the, that's what you're dealing with, and the gear is broke, it's not, no, it's not my fault, or whatever, it's just, <laughs> it's 
we were dealing with very old, old crap and something broke on it, so. It's my first unnecessary surgery failure. Oh, well it happens. The thing is about, with unnecessary surgery, the, you know, it's in the title, unnecessary, <laughs> is that uh, I don't really care if I fail or not because it's old shit. You know, I'm, not, I'm not gonna break my heart. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one where I fail. And uh, yeah, it's not just, this isn't a series just about me uh, showing how awesome I am. You know, I can be bad. I can, I can fuck up today. So we'll check that one out when it comes out. Just, uh, subscribe if you want to. Look at all this room I have over here now, guys. <laughs> Four by three. And you might think that this is actually showing less video with the 4 by 3 You'd be incorrect, though. 16 by 9 actually crops crap. It doesn't actually show you more information. If you were to look at... I'm going to show it to you guys. This is just showing you guys. An example is... Uh, you think you're getting all this information. You hit the record button to make it do video. What does it do? It puts it in 16 by 9. <laughs> it doesn't actually show you more information. It just crops the top and bottom. People that think 4x3 you know, actually it shows you more information than you might be aware of. Yeah, people. Just saying, yeah. It might look better in widescreen, but the common thing that people tell you is that you're seeing more information to the sides. Incorrect. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. you did